This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Your policies are doing nothing more than saving the state of Nevada a few dollars. A policy change proposal that would affect Medicaid's behavioral health patients. The requirements it would impose could affect a lot of people in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Remington. Landon is off this week. Thank you for keeping it here with us. So the policy would require prior authorization for neuropathy and psychotherapy Medicaid patients to demonstrate medical necessity before they receive treatment. So basically, they have to clear it with someone else first. Today, the Department of Health and Human Services heard feedback from the public. Elizabeth Olveta was there and joins us now live in the newsroom with more on this story. So Liz, how did it go? Well, Kristen, there was certainly plenty of resistance to this proposal. The department said this policy would help both the most vulnerable patients as well as the administrative staff, but opponents strongly disagreed. Now the department says they're revising this policy proposal after hearing those concerns. The policy, from my perspective, um, is regressive. Dozens of people came to voice their opposition to a policy change proposal. People are hurting. They, they need us. The Nevada Department of Health and Human Services and the Division of Healthcare Financing and Policy proposed a requirement for prior authorization for all neurotherapy and psychotherapy patients under Medicaid. By identifying what would be in the treatment and why that service is needed. The intent is to improve services and to get the uh, Medicaid dollars uh, delivered to the populations that really need the care. Patients would need to be assessed and evaluated either in person or via telemedicine before they could receive treatment. Most of the clients that we see come from extremely dysfunctional and chaotic backgrounds. State officials say this evaluation is important to see exactly which treatment plan would work best. That all of the services that are delivered are evidence-based services. But opponents say this would discourage those in already vulnerable positions from seeking help. You've just simply added a whole nother burden uh, that stands in their way. The patient's status would last about three months before prior authorization is required again. The prior authorization takes around five days to be approved. Some suggested that waiting period could result in issues like patients possibly harming themselves. Not just a crisis within our agencies um, and private practice, but also the entire community. But the division reassured them this policy change would not affect those in immediate need. A crisis situation that is not that does not require prior authorization. Providers like the CEO of Northern Nevada Hopes noted administrative strain on an already understaffed industry as well as the spike in need for mental health services. We want to work with the state to ensure we're increasing access, not adding additional barriers. And after hearing this feedback, I encourage you to revisit this whole idea uh, and see this regressive policy. The state says they are now working to amend the policy proposal. Now, it's unclear exactly what will be amended as the state is now working to address the public's concerns in that revised version. Initially, a public hearing where a decision would be made on the policy change was set for late July. And that hearing will now likely be pushed back. If you'd like to give your input, you can visit our KTVN News app for more information. Covering the big story live in the newsroom, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.